What's up guys? So we're back again talking about misfires and single cylinder misfires. So today we're going to be talking about what you need to look for if you're checking compression. So back using our cylinder number three as an example again. First of all, to check compression, you will need a compression gauge. This is what a really simple one looks like. This is just one I picked up at AutoZone for uh, comparative purposes. But basically what you would need to do is take this spark plug wire and spark plug off. There will be a hose like this that screws into the spark plug tube. Then that connects to this gauge. And what I would recommend doing if you have a misfire like that is rather than check the, the compression in one cylinder, check all three on that bank. So you'll plug the, you'll plug the gauge up, get it set up on each cylinder and have someone turn the engine over several times and check and see what compression it builds to. It'll be different from engine to engine, but generally it should be like above 120 for a healthy cylinder. But what you want to compare is all three. They should all be the same or very close to the same. If you have say 150 here, 150 there and 40 here, then you know you have a problem. Now, once you know you have a problem, if you find a low compression cylinder then you will need to do what's called a cylinder leak down test and a leak down test is you're going to need a, a hose similar to this again only it's going to have an air compressor like an air fitting on one end and what you're going to do is plug that in turn that you either turn the engine to where all the intake and exhaust valves are closed for that cylinder or if you want a little more accurate the easiest way to do it is pop the valve cover off and take the rocker arms loose for those for that cylinder but either way the valves need to be closed and you need to pressurize that cylinder so here's a super scientific super super accurate explanation for what's going on during a leak down test in an engine you have the cylinder head itself you have the cylinder itself and you have a piston sitting inside the cylinder which has rings around it. The rings seal to the walls here on the sides. Then the head is sealed to the get to the block with the gasket. Then you have valves that come through like this. that also seal it up and then usually a spark plug is not always in the center like this but that's there you go super super accurate so anyway then to the combustion pressure is housed here so what you're doing when you're doing a leak down test is you're pumping air in through this hole you're building up pressure in here you're watching for it to either leak past one of these valves either into the exhaust manifold into the intake manifold or pass these rings down into the crankcase, which will then more than likely find its way out around the oil cap or something along those lines. So that's actually what's going on on the inside when you're doing this test. Now, once you've done that, what you're gonna look for is for it to leak down. And you're gonna try to listen for where it leaks to. If you hear it coming out of here, for example, in the oil, that would indicate possibly a blown head gasket or it could, would most likely be bad rings, cracked pistons, something on the bottom end that's messed up. If you hear it leaking through the intake manifold, if you can hear it coming out the throttle body, then that would be an indication you have a bent or damaged intake valve or an intake valve that's not closing fully. The same way if you hear it leaking out the exhaust, that would tell you the exhaust valve is the problem. So that's basically what you're gonna do there and then once you have found that, then that will tell you what you need to do as far as repairs from that goes, but that is definitely gonna be an internal problem and an internal repair. So just be prepared that if you have low compression, that is gonna be a big repair. You're past the point of anything really simple or really quick. And that's basically it. There's not a whole lot to finding a single cylinder misfire. Now, when it comes to compression, another thing that you may see at some point is that you may see two cylinders side by side with low compression and the rest of the engine normal. 
if you see something like that at some point that could indicate a blown head gasket so that's just another that's not going to be a single cylinder misfire but that's another type of misfire that you may diagnose this way uh, but that's pretty much all I wanted to go over in this video. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave them down in the comments and I'll answer everything that I can. And other than that, I'm going to get out of here for this video and this will be the end of hopefully this series. So give this video a like, drop me a comment, let me know what you thought and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see all of you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.